So hello and welcome back and this time we're doing the Format 4 machine or not machine um, exercise and again this one builds up uh, on top of the previous one uh, if we scroll down we can see the source code again and this time we can see that um, we don't actually return but we call a function that pretty much returns for us. So even if we would control the return pointer we wouldn't uh, we would never return there. So what we have to do is the um, exit does get linked uh, the exit function does get linked into the program. Um, with the glibc and gets dynamically dispatched via the global offset table. So we have to overwrite the address in the global offset table for this function to return to this function instead. So we can execute this code. So yeah, so much to the theory. Let's get started. So first of all, let's navigate to to the programs again. And first the format for course. So let's just um, test it a little bit first. So let's just supply something like this and let's test um, if we have a format string vulnerability at all but we have I can assure you that but we will but we also want to know um, uh, which character uh, which param parameter um, points to our first argument or, or our string that we provided. So let's see. And as we can see here, it's the fourth one. So let's write it down. And if we can see, as we can see here, um, object down minus tr is our best friend. So let's do that. And what we can then find out here is the address of hello. Let's see where that is. Didn't uh, here it is. So let's write that down. Anything else we would need? I don't think so. So let's hop right into GDB. And now we need to find the address um, of this function in the global offset table. So As we can see it gets called here. Um, now we need to take a look at the procedure, procedure linkage table. And we can see it tries to jump to this address here, right here. 
and that should be the global of the table. And it is. And as you can see, um, right now we didn't execute the program, but uh, at default it expects the exit function at this address. So we need to overwrite this address at this address. So we write down. Okay, we did write this already. Don't want to save it. So let's see. think that should be already it with the information we need for now. So let's start writing our exploit. Um, we need the import struct to um, to pack our addresses uh, for us in reverse byte order, so we don't have to do that manually. And let's just note these good things right here. And let's see how we would construct our our payload right here um, first of all we need to but actually that is Pretty a pretty large number, so let's do it as last time and split it, split it up into two bytes, where this would be the lower two bytes, and here if you pair it with zero, this this would be the larger two bytes. Yeah, let's let's create a second one. So that should be all right. I don't think that we need this actually, but let's see. It's definitely it's definitely um, good to know. So let's just keep it in here, even if we don't use it in the script. First, want to supply this one. Excuse me. And then we want to supply the second one. Where the higher address would um, actually be the higher bytes and this would be the lower bytes. So, um, the write we would uh, do at this address would overwrite these two bytes and the write we would do at this address would overwrite these two bytes right here okay so now we actually have to supply the format string 
And of course, we have to append the string right here. The address is still string, so. So yeah, let's, let's just print something at first. And we want to have the fourth parameter, actually. And we want to write um, only two bytes. But, but actually I want to change this around because as we can see here um, the first two bytes are smaller than the lower two bytes so we want to actually write to the higher bytes first. So that should do the trick there. And I think that should give us a good start. Let's see. Let's actually just check if it even works. Uh, it looks like it. <coughs> Excuse me. So. So let's get the higher bytes first. Uh, let's calculate how, how many characters we have to print there. And then we um, do the same thing again and calculate how many bytes we need to print for the lower two bytes. So we actually want to set a breakpoint right there. Now we would need to provide um, our input file. So, and let's see. Let's take a look at the global offset table again. Actually, we can just we don't need to find it again. We can. We have noted it down already, so we can just take a look. And it looks like we have written a B in there. So our higher bytes should be this. right there. So let's calculate that. And we want to enter the numbers in hex. And we want to have the result in decimal. Oh, great. Let's do it again. So 
here's the result of decimal. Let's note it down. And let's enter it into our exploit. Yeah, I wanted to. So, this should be our first number. And our second, we don't know yet. We want to break here again. So let's see. And so yeah, I stopped the recording here for a second. I finally figured it out. And this is now the working exploit. Honestly, it was just a long time. Um, just trying it out and adjusting it a little bit here and there. So we hit it perfectly, but now Sorry. If we save it into the file again, open it up in GDB, and sorry, that's the wrong file. Um, then you can see we executed the code in the hello function. It really looks like I have to um, practice a little bit with the offset and maybe find a different solution to this. But yeah, I think that's, that's it for this time. For me, it was really just... Um, just adjusting it, uh, the offsets a little bit here and there to get it just right. And that actually concludes it for our format strings. So yeah, see you next time then.